In this video, we will review the sales process in Microsoft Dynamics X 2012 as well as in general. Often trade and logistic process starts with the sales. Sales process often starts with customer inquiry and ends on delivering the product successfully. Let us review them in detail. Often customer inquires about the product, price and its quantity, especially when customer is dealing with a new vendor or new product. In response to customer inquiry, vendor sends them a quotation with the required information. This process may undergo the several rounds of negotiation before finalizing the order. For example, customer may negotiate for the better pricing by asking about discount or speedy delivery. If customer is satisfied and happy with the quotation, he may confirm the order with vendor. If customer goes for another vendor, we may mark the quotation as lost and if customer do not respond within a certain period of time, we may cancel the quotation. Quotation should be converted into the sales order if customer confirms it. Let us review the product demonstration for creating sales quotation and converting into the sales order in Microsoft Dynamics X. Let us look at the business scenario. RS Bicycle Trading Company has received a customer inquiry for delivering 10 pieces of small size blue colored bicycles. In response to customer inquiry, we will submit the quotation where we will deliver 10 pieces of bicycle at 250 euro per piece and it will take one business day for delivery. After receiving the quotation from RS Bicycle Trading Company, customer asks for 5% discount on unit price of 250 euro per piece. RS Bicycle Trading Company will send revised quotation to customer by offering 5% discount on unit price. In order to create sales quotation, go to sales and marketing. Under the sales quotations fast tab, which can be located from the common menu, click on all quotations. From the quotation action menu, click on sales quotation from the new quotation. Here we have two types of account type, prospect or customer. If we are submitting the quotation for existing customer, we may select customer and if it is for prospect, then we may select prospect. For now, we will select customer. Select the customer. And as soon as you select customer, the default information will be copied here. For example, currency in which quotation is to be created. Also shipping and delivery information. So it will take delivery will take one business day. So we set the delivery date to 22nd of July and requested ship date will automatically be updated. Here we can select the mode of delivery. So we will deliver using the truck. And here is the time zone for shipping location. Click on OK to create the quotation. Once quotation is created, we need to add a lines. That's the product for which we want to submit the quotation. So here we can select the item number that is a bicycle and we can see the configuration size and color have been defaulted from the release product and the quotation is for 10 pieces so here update the quantity to 10 generally we do not accept the quotation less than 100 pieces of bicycle but for now let's say we accept the quotation for 10 pieces here it's a unit price getting defaulted from the release product form and here it's a net amount. So at 250 euros per piece, 2500 euros is the net amount. Send it to customer. In order to send quotation to customer, from the quotation action menu, under the generate group, click on send quotation. Review the information here and you may select OK. If you want to print quotation, click on print quotation. System intimates the quotation have been sent. We can also see the quotation status have been updated from created to sent. Now customer after reviewing the quotation calls us back and asks for additional 5% discounts on the unit price. 
so we give a five percent of additional discount just give a five and uh, as you can see the net amount will be recalculated after offering five percent discount on your price and then send the quotation again every time we send the quotation system maintains a revision for the quotation which can be reviewed from under the quotation action menu under the journals group click on quotation journal and here we can see all the revisions have been made system creates a revision every time quotation is sent so we can see the revision one that is a that was sent at 2500 euro and now the quotation have been revised by offering 5% discount if you want to see line details we can see line details here and here we can see the 5% discount is being offered let's say if customer do not respond for a longer time on this quotation then you may cancel the quotation or if customer has chosen the another vendor you may mark the quotation as a lost quotation from the follow up action menu if customer confirms the sales order then the quotation can be confirmed using the confirm option this would create the sales order automatically so let's say in our case the sales order is confirmed so we may confirm the quotation by clicking confirm and you may give a reason for confirming the quotation we say price was the reason the better pricing has won the quotation and then click on ok the quotation is updated to status confirm and it also creates a reference sales order which can be reviewed from and switch to header view under the general fast tab the reference sales order have been generated right click and click on view details and we can see the information from the quotation have been copied here on the sales order we can also see the discount of 5% and the net amount the status of the sales order is open order if vendor has trusted relationship with customer customer may place the sales order directly instead of sending an inquiry first this is a good for both vendor as well as customer as this will minimize the sales cycle time and thus often resulting into the cost effective deal sales order is either created manually or can be created automatically on confirming the quotation once sales order is created details of the same should be confirmed with the customer first before processing it further this will avoid any discrepancy or dispute in future as a next step order delivery process can be initiated order delivery process often starts with picking up the goods from warehouse and keeping it ready for delivery once goods are picked it can be delivered or shipped to customer using the agreed transportation mode for example by road or by air once customer confirms the delivery of goods invoice can be sent to customer and customer will make payment for the goods received let us review the sales order processing in microsoft dynamics x2012 now we can start processing the sales order for the delivery under this cell action menu click on sales order conf confirmation if you want to confirm the order before processing it you may print the confirmation confirmation is an important step this would avoid any discrepancy or dispute later that's the optional step but if user wants user may confirm then so, uh, we have to deliver this order on 22nd of july that is tomorrow so let's look at the inventory first inventory on hand we have 2000 pieces of small size blue color bicycle that means we have enough stock to initiate the delivery process let us make a reservation against the inventory stock 
we want to deliver 10 pieces click on resolve line and it will resolve the 10 pieces of bicycle from the stock we will review the resolution in more detail in a separate video series after making the reservation we can pick the items so click on pick and pack action menu then click on picking list and here we can say how many quantities we want to pick so we want to pick 10 pieces user may select the particular serial and batch number to pick from in order to pick click on update line and then pick system has pick up batch number b1 and serial number 001 to 0010 automatically if user wants to pick a different serial number he can change it here for now we will go ahead with the same serial and batch number what system has picked up automatically so click on ok we are not printing the picking list for now and the picking list have been updated click on inventory transaction and we can see that issue status have been updated to pick so we have picked the 10 pieces of bicycle from our warehouse and kept them at the delivery location now next step is to load these bicycles into a truck and then deliver the goods to customer click on packing slip from pick and pack action menu here we can select the quantities to be delivered so we can also deliver 10 pieces in a multiple deliveries maybe first 5 and later 5 but for now we will deliver all, all of them together click on update picking list and let us look at the inventory transaction as you can see the inventory have been deducted so when goods are delivered issue status will be updated to deducted all 10 pieces have been deducted once the customer acknowledges the delivery we may need to send the invoice to them click on invoice to re record the payment under the lines we can review the information so we have delivered 10 pieces at total amount of 2375 euro and customer is customer is making the payment for the same so we will just invoice update the sales order click on ok let us look at the inventory transaction and we can see that money have been received and goods have been sold out so we just reviewed the demonstration of sales process where we created a quotation and we confirm into a sales order then we confirm the sales order we pick it we deliver it and then we invoice update the sales order thank you thank you for watching